guys, it's Amy. Welcome to beginner series golf lesson. So I'm going to assume that you're a lot more comfortable with the whole setup, body motion, and the grip. And today we're going to finally gonna get to hit balls. So we're gonna start with the small baby step swings. Typically when someone starts to play golf, you learn to do a small swing so your body is supposed to kind of stay still and you learn to make contact with the hands and the arms and eventually when the swing gets bigger and bigger that's when you start learning the body motion um, but I actually do it a little bit differently I teach a beginner how to use their body with the small swings and then teach them how to make contact with the ball using the body motion the reason for this is that Many amateurs actually struggle using too much arms and not enough body. This could be a result of uh, physical limitations, but once you start learning to hit the golf ball with the arms only, and then when you have to start using the body, some people do, do a great job of adjusting to it, but most people struggle with that change. So basically, you're like, I learned to hit the golf ball with the arms, and now when I use the body, the timing is completely different, and the feel is completely different, tempo is different. So a lot of amateurs at this point get frustrated because it's confusing, it's hard to adjust, then they give up and they end up swinging with the arms only for the rest of their lives, right? So this is the reason why I teach my beginners to use the body first and then learn to make contact with the ball using that body motion. At first, it could seem like a very tough process and it may take a little bit longer time to hit the ball compared to those who hit him using the arms but if you look at the overall time from doing small baby step swings all the way to full swings it's actually going to save you time and also because you're using the body to power through instead of the arms you're going to have less less uh, tension in your body and it's going to actually prevent a lot of injuries like golfers elbows and wrist and shoulder injuries etc etc so actually using the body overall is probably the best thing you could do when you first start the game of golf so if you understand that concept let's go ahead and start hitting golf balls for beginners it's a lot easier if you tee the golf ball up so you don't have to worry about making perfect contact with that golf ball. You don't want to tee it up too high though. You want to tee it up so the golf ball is placed right in front of the sweet spot. So it'll be maybe like a quarter of an inch high. So barely off the ground, right? Let's tee it up. And then do you remember in the last lesson, I was talking about how hard it is for a beginner to find that perfect distance between the golf ball and yourself. Once you get comfortable with your setup angles and your grip, it'll be easier to find that distance and I'm going to show you that in detail later on. But for right now, for that little swings we're gonna do, there's so many things you have to focus on. So I'm going to just mark how far I'm standing away from the golf ball and then not worry about that distance when I'm practicing. So basically, do you remember from last time? You're supposed to set up do you remember how to set up drop your arms down so they're perpendicular to the ground and from there about a one palm in front of that position is where we want right so find that distance for me and you're going to grab an extra ball and you're gonna place it right between midpoint between your big toes this is actually going to help you line up correctly to the golf ball and also check on your ball position as well. If you want to get fancy, you can take those alignment sticks and make a T out of it and then mark your feet. But uh, the ball will do if you don't have the alignment sticks. Okay, so we're going to do the small baby step swings. Um, those small swings are typically from hip high to hip high. So basically the shaft is parallel to the ground and then after you hit it, it's also parallel to the ground. We don't want to start making big swings because um, ultimately your swing from here to here, this 
part right here is the most important part of your swing with any club. So once you understand how this is supposed to feel and we make the swing bigger, it'll make the ball striking a lot easier. Um, with the small swings though, if you're able to hit it nicely from the beginning, then I usually move onto the half swing right away. But if you have trouble making good contact, then it's best to spend a little bit more time. Once you're comfortable, then move on to the half swing. Okay, so let me just show you the correct swing first. You want to set up to it, left palm press down, right two fingers, grab it nice, make a V, and then you're gonna go parallel to the ground, turn, push. It's like a combination of everything we've done so far, right? Okay, so there are four things you need to watch out for when you're doing small swings. Number one, you want your club, your arms, and your body to move together as one piece. So if you set up, you see how your arms and your club makes a Y, letter Y? You want to maintain that Y, and you want the club and your arms and your body to move together. Then your armpits are gonna feel like they're kind of attached to your body. So it should be one piece back, one piece through, using that turn push we've worked on. But a lot of times when people start hitting the golf balls, they get so focused on hitting it. So I, can, I see this a lot. So it's like all arms and arms, no body, right? And then start making big swings and you can't make proper contact with the ball. Number two, if you were to draw a line from the ball to the target, let's call that the target line. And when you set up, let's draw a line where your toes are. That's the toe line. So there are two lines right here. You really want to keep your club head in between the two lines when you're doing this small swing. So basically, if you are moving correctly with everything together in one piece, then you're gonna go turn and push. Notice how in the back swing, the club head is in front of the toe line, not behind it, and it's not in front of the target line either. And after you hit it, it's still slightly in front of the toe line. So if you tend to not go everything together and use a lot of hands and arms, then you will, you may end up looking this way or this way. So we really want to keep the club head quiet and use the body to take it back so it stays within those two lines throughout the whole swing. Third point, remember in the grip lesson we talked about how the left inside left palm should be pressing down on the 12 o'clock well when, when you're doing this small swing you need to keep that pressure constant so okay let's look at the correct swing first if you are putting this amount of tension in your left palm then when you take it back it should remain the same pressure, same pressure, same pressure, same pressure, same pressure, same pressure throughout the whole entire swing. So a lot of people when they first start hitting, they just want to hit it hard and they have no idea what their pressure is doing. Sometimes they end up putting pressure in the thumbs like this. So it's like thumb, thumb, right? And they can't hit the ball and the club is going all over the place. Or sometimes they lose the left palm by, they just lift and then the left palm comes off the club a lot and the pressure again is in a lot in both of your thumbs which is no good. Really quieten your mind and you want to press down on your palm and push through still pressing down in the finish like this. Number four, when you do the small swing you really want to keep it in two motions so it's back swing and from here to finish is down swing so it's two motions but a lot of amateurs sometimes break it down to three they go one two three or they break it down the wrong way and go one two so you really want it to be this is one from here push is a two right so instead of like one two and three it should be a nice clean push through the ball. So basically after you do the first movement, you want to feel like you have a broom in your hand and you're swiping from here to the finish. You're brushing through the ball. So what are you doing that with? Your arms or your body push? Body push, right? So you want to be here and your second move is a 
push and brush through. So for the small baby step swing, you really want to remember the club, the arms, and the body moves together as one piece, maintaining that Y. And then you're keeping the club head between the target line and the toe line and maintaining the pressure of your inside your left palm throughout the whole swing. And you're going to remember two movements, back swing, down swing is a brush slash push. Looks like this. Tick, tock. So you're gonna go tick, tock, tick, tock. Practice that a lot for me and once you get comfortable with it, let's go into the half swing next time. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next lesson. <laughs>